My name is Laura. I am a full-time caregiver for my father. When he is feeling well, we go on adventures. I love my father, but being a full-time caregiver is stressful. My chosen stress reliever is dirt therapy. Hey everyone, it is August uh, 8th, Tuesday night, and we are at Meet the Panthers. It's just uh, the football team gets out and does a little scrimmage, and they have a little fundraiser and have hot dogs for everyone. And when I say we are at the Meet the Panthers, I mean we. Yeah, he's lively. You'll probably knock him out for three or four days, but he wanted to come out tonight, so we're out. Out of the house, out in the van, out uh, meeting people. A lot of people come by and talk to him. And we'll see how it goes. This is Clark, my dad's grandson, my nephew. He's the one in all black. He's taking his uniform off already. This was a scrimmage, kind of a meet the Panthers night where we get to know the team players. I'll try and find my niece who is a cheerleader. Oh, I found her. And here is my niece, my dad's granddaughter. She is a cheerleader. I wanted to do a quick garden update and uh, let everyone see what's been going on out there. Uh, as you know, I just, the garden got away from me and I, I've been trying to recover it and uh, I'm still getting stuff out of it. It just, I have to wade through the weeds. So, let me show you what's going on. I still have okra growing. I came out here and got it all pruned up. Been able to come back and get it. Got lots of okra putting on and got some flowers putting on too. Brussels sprouts is something that I've not been successful at yet, and I have lost two plants. I've still got some going, and I'm trying to recover them. See if I can get them back. Cucumbers were a huge success. We have canned so many pickles that we are done and tired of cucumbers. You see the orange ones hanging. Those are ones that I left on the vine. I wanted to try saving some seeds, and uh, plus I just haven't been getting out here to get them picked, but now we're just kind of coming out and picking cucumbers as we need them for dinner and stuff. Okay, Kathy June, here's the eggplant. It does have a bloom on it, but it just, the plant itself just kind of stalled out, and I don't know why. Um, it looks healthy. It looks like it's doing pretty good it just stopped doing anything i think the rains that we got has a lot to do with it those huge rains because they uncovered the roots a couple of times and i would come back out and add compost on top of them and try to get them healthy again so i don't know if we're going to have time for an eggplant to actually produce or not but it's alive and it does have a bloom Oh my gosh, I've got more blooms on my green bean plants. And little teeny tiny green beans. I've got lots of tomatoes putting on. I've already canned some. It looks like I'll have a few more to can today. Here is one of the peanut plants. And they had a rough life. First, I had a rabbit get after them when they were small. 
then the two huge rains that we had uncovered the roots and I had to come back out and get them covered back up again with compost and now the rabbit has been back and it is just going to town munching on them I mean the plant itself looks healthy and I think I could be successful in growing them if I can one keep the rabbits out of the garden and two get some better weed control and better way to keep the topsoil from washing off if we get the big rains. The pinto beans I feel like are a success. These are ready to pick and shell and I'll have some nice dry beans all winter long. I've had a very good year for raspberries. Got tons of them. I've been picking them just about every day and eating some and freezing some. Very happy with the way they turned out. Some of you may remember that I just came through and butchered my strawberry plants with the lawnmower. Well, as you can see, they came back full force. I'll have lots of strawberries next year. So there's the garden update. And even though there's a ton of weeds, uh, it's been a really successful year. We've been eating a lot of produce out of the garden. And I can tell in my grocery bill, it has gone down and we're getting good food. So that's it for today's update. Talk to y'all later.